All right, so let's uh, create some new cameras. Um, we have uh, created cameras before, but we can uh, just kind of go over that again real quick. I'm just gonna uh, pull this down a little bit, get a little bit more room up here, and let's just tap the. Let's let's actually uh, create a new camera. Say we want to look at this uh, at this paint splash area right here. So I'll kind of get in here. Uh, and pick an angle like that. And uh, to create a camera from our current view, uh, there's a couple ways to do it. We could tap the camera icon, boom, that creates a camera here. And you can tell that you're in a camera view because it will say what camera you're looking through up here on this little icon right here. And then you kind of get a little hint because you get this handle, uh, this this red frame, uh, this red outline frame, and then this little circle doohickey in the middle here. So that's one way to do it. Um, I'm just gonna delete that. And another way to do it is from the tab menu right here. If we hit uh, tab while our mouse is over the viewport and we say uh, camera and hit enter, that also creates a camera here. Now, both of those ways, uh, they didn't automatically activate this lock. So it means that any camera move I do from that point, the camera is going to just be uh, left behind. So if I change my view, the camera is just left here. Um, I still have handles. I can still manipulate it and everything. Uh, and then to get back to it, I would want to just click uh, this button up in the right hand corner and drag down this camera menu and select camera two. And here we're back in our previous camera. Um, the other way that you can create a camera is to actually just kind of create it from uh, the, in the tab menu over here. And it's a different behavior. So this is a, a lot of uh, Houdini works that way where the, the tab menu in the viewport can sometimes give you a slightly different behavior than what the tab menu over here does. And we can kind of see an example of that here. So if we create a camera over here in the with our mouse over the network view and we place that down, you can see that it just throws a camera at the uh, center of the uh, scene. So if I just select all this stuff and turn it off, you can see that that new camera we just created is sitting right there. And we've got our handles and we can start manipulating it like so. 